All right, so it took us some time, but we figured out a little bit of a our process here on getting getting these inserts in. You can see there's one that's installed. We ended up going with some eight millimeter for eight millimeter head studs. That's a 12 millimeter OD for those. Two and a half millimeter uh, drill bit. And then it's a 12 and a half by 1.5 tap. And kind of show you the process here. Here's some of the other holes that we have that we got to finish up. We've already done one side. We got this side left to finish. And then uh, we'll be done uh, putting the inserts in. And then we can get the case back together and start the whole rebuild process and kind of go through the parts as we uh, get that put together. But came up with some neat little extra tools to help us out along the way. And we'll show you that here in just a few minutes. So this is kind of our setup as far as uh, making sure that we're directly over the hole. And you see that we've got an indicator here. And when we turn this, uh, I'm not going to talk while the press is on because it's you won't be able to hear me anyways, but you can see that once we get this turned on, um, it's going to rotate inside the hole and let us know just how close we are. So we'll give you a little demonstration of that right now. As you can see, we got that down. It's about as close as we can get it with the uh, end of the indicator running on those threads. It's about one thousandth, one and a half thousandths. So we know that we're directly over the top of the hole and we'll be able to drill and tap. So here we are, all set up. We know that we're directly over the top of it. So we will get this drilled out and then we'll tap it. This is our setup, how we're getting these uh, taps in. And I do realize how funny this looks because yes, we are, uh, we could definitely chuck this up and tap it that way. Uh, we do know how to do that, but this is a borrowed tap and they don't really want us chucking up their tap. So we're gonna do it this way. As you can see right here on the top, um, there's a little bitty hole. Lift that up just a little bit. And that allows us to be able to put this uh, counter bore in there. And to get down in there, that holds it tight. We don't put a whole lot of pressure on it, but once we actually start to cut, then helps us to be able to keep it exactly straight up and down. So here we're gonna do that now. So as you can see, that's our finished hole after we got done tapping it. Looks pretty good. So now we'll get that insert set. And just going to go over, we ended up having to come up with a with a different little tool here. In order to get those down below where your jug's going to be sitting, get those down flush. If you're using just a, a nut by itself, then what you end up doing is you end up scarring up that little ridge there. So. We came up, used the lathe, and turned down a little piece of metal like this. So it's actually pretty neat. Once we get it down into the insert, this will actually, this edge here, will actually push down, and you're able to turn that insert without messing up that, that edge there. So 
we'll kind of show you how that works so this is a setup as you can see we got the spacer on got our fancy little washer that will actually use this uh, jam nut here to lock down on this and then the whole thing will turn and that will allow us to push it down flat uh, with the case so everything will be flush right here and we won't be digging in to that little ridge it's kind of hard to see here but you can see the bottom of that little spacer that we made and the top of the insert and we'll back this out and kind of show you the finished result here so as you can see here we were actually able to get that down that's nice and flush with the edge of the case and definitely below where our jug is going to be sealing so that actually looks pretty good that's just uh, the way that we got it figured out you can see we got these two done on this side and those are looking pretty good we got six more to do on this case so on this side so if you're doing this yourself there's a process you just do that and then do it 15 more times and you're done